Hello. Today we are at the middle point, the turning point in our journey with the hero's journey with the Tarot. We're at justice, and justice is, a, although some people put justice at card number eight, I, like many others, like it as uh, card number 11, because then it's at the middle, and justice is an appropriate middle point. I'm going to show you some of the images. They are all very similar. Um, this is mine first, and I want to point out something important here with mine, which is that, you know, there's the division between dark and light, and with many of the images of justice, of course, justice is blind, and we'll talk about that later. But also you'll see that within the dark, the, uh, the bowl is light, and the, uh, the side of the sword that holds the balance point is light. And within the light, the bowl is dark, and the side of the, uh, of the sword that holds the balance point is dark. So this is very similar to the Yi Ching, the, uh, not the uh, Tai Chi, the yin yang symbol which I've mentioned before, uh, where there is a, a circle with um, a black and white, but a dot of white in the black and a dot of black in the white, uh, meaning that it's always ever-changing and that within the dark there is light and within the light that it, there's dark. This is, this is the yin-yang. Uh, sometimes people show it in any orientation, and again, as you can see, uh, or the Tai Chi symbol, um, that within the dark there is light, within the light there is dark. This too is very important with justice because no matter how, and no matter how you assess what you need, it's important to remember that uh, if you decide that you need both, and that within the dark there always is and always must be light. And within the light, there always is and must be dark. So it helps you assess your experience and find the light within the dark or the dark within the light to identify these and also to identify the correct, where you really are on the scale, what, what, uh, what is really required right now. And uh, to remember that it's always a matter of changing balance. This is very important as we continue with justice. Uh, here's another one of my images of justice, and you'll see that again, the, um, there is light in the dark and dark in the light. Uh, this is a traditional image of justice with uh, the sword of justice, and she is not blind. Uh, and this, um, also this shows a man, this is the Rider Waite, and he is not blind. Um, but, uh, Crowley's justice is um, blind. Blind, but you see the outline of the eyes. So uh, justice is supposedly ruled by Libra, which is the mind. But I like the versions of justice that show it blind because that really implies it's kind of like Luke Skywalker on the Millennium Falcon practicing using the force with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then he puts the helmet on him. It's like you have to use your mind, but you also have to, your mind has to be informed by, um, by something else, by some other force that is um, unknowable, ultimately, but, uh, but, but is bigger than, uh, than just like pure reason. Because with your eyes closed, we rely very heavily on our eyes, uh, to inform our mind, um, you really have to feel where is that balance place in the justice. So um, right now it is a turning point and an assessment point. You have to look back at the practices that you've done so far and think about what's worked for you. Think about what hasn't worked for you and what do you need more of? Do you need more softness? Do you need to be a little easier on yourself as you go through this? Or do you need more discipline? Are you being like a little too uh, a little too soft or relaxed in terms of how you're going in? Or what balance of those two, two aspects do you need to find within yourself in order to really maintain that, uh, that center spot, that justice? And, um, then, and then as you assess, that will help you determine what skills you need moving forward because the road is about to get a little bit bumpier 
And uh, you'll need to rely on that. You'll need to know, to have a sense. You'll need to, <clears throat> of what works for you and what doesn't, what has and hasn't. And also where you need to develop or how you can continually refine, reassess where you are. That will be very, very important going forward. Um, and uh, I said uh, Libra is an air sign and justice is normally ruled by Libra. Um, but uh, one other interesting image for justice is the idea of laughing and crying at the same time. That, uh, and this is an image that some have used um, as a kind of enlightenment experience, perhaps not pure enlightenment, but, but one of the experiences that you can have. And this is not like uh, crying tears of joy. This is really, truly experiencing pure joy, pure bliss, completely thrilled and overwhelmed with joy on one level and also feeling grief equally. And uh, to laugh and cry, being full of joy and grief simultaneously is a powerful experience and uh, kind of an amazing one. And this too is a good image to think of for justice. Even though justice is always shown very unemotional, uh, it's that balance of awareness that you're looking for that is symbolized by justice. Um, so uh, as, you, uh, as you move ahead, as you decide what you need to move ahead, um, it, you, it's really important to find the balance. If you are too soft, then you could get crushed by that wheel of fortune that we met yesterday. You could be surprised when you end up on the bottom of the wheel, like this wasn't what was supposed to happen. And you can feel despair, like God has abandoned you, um, like it'll never get better. Uh, and if you are too dark, too hard, uh, you may never allow yourself to experience the good. You may be unnecessarily punitive to yourself and others and too harsh. And there's also the possibility of pride. When things go well, you think it's all you that has done everything. So it's very important to continually Find that inner place that, that uses your mind to assess what you pick up on some deeper level and come to a, a, an appropriate confusion for how to find that very, um, very difficult balance point because the, 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 the scales are on the point of a sword. So this is a very delicate balance point to reach. So uh, enjoy doing that today. It's a contemplative day and a thoughtful day, and one where you can put the helmet on and see if you can attack the drone um, on whatever metaphorical level that means to you. And uh, then you get to make a choice to move forward. Um, how you move forward, what, what skills you need, and uh, how you need to use them. And that will be very important as we start to uh, approach the bumpier part of our road tomorrow with The Hanged Man. Have a great day.